Morning guys. So uh, I've seen a couple of posts about asking questions about how they set up their race trailers and uh, you know what you put in your race trailers. So today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring you an overview of my trailer and uh, we'll talk a little bit about the way I set it up. So my trailer is an 80 inch wide by 12 foot box ProLine LLC. Uh, I had it built to my specs. It's got a three foot V nose, which is in addition to the 12 foot. So the actual box section of it is exactly 12 feet. It's an all aluminum trailer, uh, very well built. I've got over 16,000 miles on it since I purchased it. I've been out to Sturgis twice with it with my Harley and uh, a few track days. And I've been down to Roebling Road and uh, up to Loudon. So, uh, you know, it, it gets a lot of use. It's got torsion bar axles. Uh, I had camper windows put in it. I've got a window on each side plus a window in the door. And I'm just gonna lower the rear ramp to go over uh, a little bit of how I got it set up. And I do have to kind of unload and do a little bit of cleaning and stuff because I was up at Loudon for a week. Uh, and I left the lights on. Uh, I do have uh, power in it. It's got 110 power, uh, 30 amp. So this is the setup. Uh, I've got my Aprilia in here right now. The Pitbull restraint system, rear axle restraint system. I can't say enough good about that. Uh, amazing setup. Works really well. Keeps the bike locked in. I've got a... Uh, well, my spare tire's in here. I've got a four inch memory foam mattress. I've got two bed frames that go together that give me a twin size bed that fits right here in the back of the trailer when it's all set up and the bike's out. Uh, put some cabinetry in here. I've got a Cosway uh, chest refrigerator. I just threw a uh, coat rack up on the wall I hang my leathers and anything else. I've got a couple of helmet hangers up above this counter. I've got my microwave. I've got my coffee pot. I've got my television set. Um, this was a pre-purchase cabinet from Home Depot and a piece of shelving that they had. And then this one up here, uh, I built that all out of three-quarter plywood. And I cut a 24 by 24 hole in it. I've got my chairs, uh, toolbox, electric cords, uh, any other miscellaneous stuff I need, that's all up in the front. Of course, I've got my, my key rack, my pin board, my decals, uh, my decal wall. Um, a schedule from the uh, Loudon Classic. And my wife made me some really cool curtains to put up on the uh, windows. They're just uh, Velcro stripped up. They fold right down. You can open the windows. And I've also got uh, an AC unit in the ceiling. I took the uh, crank up vent out, placed the AC unit. So I do have the heat strip in the AC unit, but uh, it doesn't get very warm, so I've also got a little portable ceramic heater that I could turn on when it's cold out. Um, I got plenty of storage, cabinet, drawers. Uh, I just strapped this stuff down, my, my fuel tank, uh, my gas can, I should say. I've got a portable air system that I had for my Jeep when I was doing a lot of off-roading. I use that, of course, fire extinguisher and CO detector, smoke alarm, because I do sleep in here. And uh, that's about it, guys. Um, everything fits in here nicely. I love the, uh, the rail system. As you can see, there's D-rings that you can slide in and move them where you need to with this rail system. Uh, I can actually get the Harley in here along with the race bike if I do some rearranging and move the race bike over. Um, I've got a Condor stand for the Harley that I could run right up in here and it works really well. Uh, I did paint the rear, the rear ramp with some uh, non-skid gray paint. 
But uh, yeah, that's about it. So, you know, I, I did go single axle. It tows a little bit easier. Uh, it does have brakes on it. And uh, like I said, I've put, well, I just got the new truck and I had 16,630 miles on the trailer and I've just added another couple of hundred miles on that. So uh, the trailer's holding up really well. The only thing I don't like about the rails is they get a lot of dirt in them. So the end of a race weekend and stuff, I'll get in here with a shop vac and vacuum out all the rails to get all the dirt out. And that's pretty much it. That's the race trailer setup. It's, uh, I've got 12 volt and then I've got a power strip up here that's plugged in underneath so I can run, uh, I can run my AC. That's connected to it. I can run the microwave. I can run the coffee pot, the TV. You can't run the microwave or the coffee pot and the ceramic heater. That kind of overloads the system and it pops the breaker. But uh, other than that, it's a really good setup for me. Uh, my wife's gone with me. We've gone to some motorcycle rallies. We went to Americade a couple years ago. Uh, it was very comfortable for the two of us because we were at a campground that's got showers and uh, showers, bathrooms, that kind of stuff. And uh, it, was, it was a nice trip. So there you have it. That's how I got my race trailer set up. So if you find this video useful, Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. If you're out riding on the streets, make sure you keep the shiny side up, rubber side down. As always, have yourself a great day.